What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants, and today we're going to be reacting to Fruits Basket Season 3, Episode 13, aka the finale. Now, I'm expecting not much crazy stuff happening, I'm just expecting like a lot of things to just wrap up if they haven't already. Like based off the past couple episodes, we can assume that people are going to like certain directions, but I guess I'm looking forward to this episode kind of like confirming everything. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure both original content as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. Cute. Ooh, the zoo. Quick. Look over here. It's a mini Isuzu. Found a pony, huh? Which animal should we go and visit next? All right, then. Elephants for sure. Why are there no giraffes? Nobody asked you, Wheels. I mean, that's true. Or... You can't have a zoo without giraffes. You should have picked a better spot for your first date, like an amusement park. Someplace more exciting. Why are they there, then? <laughs> okay, that's enough. Stop shouting, will you? I know what the problem is. You think heights are scary, don't you? <laughs> Shriveling and tight. Are you crazy? You can't go around yelling stuff like that in public. What is happening here? Kyo didn't pick this. I'm actually the one who asked him if we could come to the zoo. No, we're not being serious. Just can't pass up the opportunity to tease him. Giraffeless places are perfectly acceptable. <laughs> I love too. how they changed their tune. Oh, cat! So damn, but you're adorable. Hey, Kion. What? Look at that. The black cat, of course. <laughs> They're perfect like for each other. Hmm? Yeah, he's not used to it. Cat's just ignoring him. That day. I watched silently as Toru picked up the beads of the bracelet I'd ripped off. You didn't you didn't help her? Maybe picking them up was her way of protecting me. Both my current and future selves. What I do know okay. is that loving someone isn't simple. It means embracing their yesterdays and tomorrows too. Wow. Are you Ooh. serious? You really applied to a college that far away? Of course he has those figurines. They've got a program there I like. I'll be living on my own. Oh, hey, does Machi know about this yet? She knows. I guess she knows. She's moving in with him. Welcome to adulthood. Is it everything you hoped for and more? If you say that to Machi, she will definitely punch you. Hmm? Yeah? Oh, good. I was starting to worry you wouldn't come. Welcome to adulthood. Is it everything you hoped for? Why is he saying that again? I did warn you. Uh, they're perfect for each other. She punches, he kicks. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna stop by the restroom before we leave. You okay on your own? Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Are they gonna have to talk? What's her secret? She always dresses like that, but I've never seen her so much as break a sweat. Their sheer force of will. I told you no reading my mind, goth girl! <laughs> You're going to take her away, away from us. Yeah. I knew this day would come. Sooner or later. It's just that I need Tell it. you what. I'll forgive you as soon as you start calling me mama. I... Hey, Kion. Hmm? We do actually like you, believe it or not. Of course. I'm sure you're dumb, but you're also a good guy and hard to hate. Toru is our people. Our friend. Our family. So, all joking aside, we're counting on you to take care of her. <laughs> Heck yeah. Keep that promise. Graduation day was bright and beautiful. Everything we could have asked for. The sun shining, the breeze gently tugging at the clouds. The world seemed almost to be giving us its blessing as we took the next step. I think my room is about as clean as it can be now. It's kind of crazy how empty it looks in here. <laughs> yeah. You know, right? There's nothing left in your room either. Black looks Something good on him. Should, he should keep it black. I can't help remembering the first time I entered this room. You crashed through the roof! Okay, not exactly my finest moment, I guess. I mean, it was pretty surprising. It was a I moment. I kicked and fell into you, and all three of you transformed, which was even more surprising. I've enjoyed the days I spent with all of you. Never perfect. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of memories. Like jewels to treasure. I guess the greater the love. The lonelier the goodbye. I, that's a great sentence. Everyone loves you. More than you realize. True. It'll be okay, I promise. Hey, this is for you. It's the key to my new place. Sir, leaps and bounds, my guy. Don't be ridiculous. Can't lie! Come on, isn't <laughs> that better? Us being honest? You're the worst! 
Oh my gosh, I can't. You're not leaving right away though, are you? The others leave tomorrow though. Does it make you sad? Mm. A little. Yeah, of course. I'll catch up. I swear. I'll wait oh, too. Hey, Kakuna chan. Hmm? Did you hear that Shigure decided to quit being a novelist? You should have seen Mitsuru when she told me. Who, who's she that? was ecstatic about it. He looks so different without the long hair. Do you think that they'll end up getting married? Who knows? Speaking of, I guess maybe. Will you and Mitsuru tie the knot soon? What? No! Yeah, it's definitely the monkey. Whatever, I don't get why everyone's so lovey dovey lately anyway. Ah, uh, poor so Kaguya. Tomorrow, it's the big send off, you know? You're coming, right? Of course I'm coming. And we all hope they'll be happy. Try again, not hope. They are going to be happy. And if they're not, then we'll just forget about it. What do you think will happen to it? Is it going to be torn down? No, not yet. Huh? It'll be left as is for now. It will? Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Whoa, why are you crying? What's wrong? It, it's nothing really. I'm sorry. I was just thinking Toto leaves tomorrow. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll see her off with a smile. Mm. Give her your emotions. Cry all you want tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with that. These guys. You love her. That's right. Very good. Rin. Listen about Kyo. Rin. Gosh dang it. How dare he take Toru? I bet he just wants her all to himself. Fun of these days? I'll get my own fabulous sweetheart. And we'll go visit them. Just to show off. <laughs> I, I mean, if that's what you want. I don't get it. Huh? How can you act like nothing's happened? Akito hurt you. And I'll... I'll never forgive her. I mean, that's completely understandable. Am I wrong to feel that way? No matter what I do, the mess in my heart doesn't go away. I, that's completely understandable. Whenever I say this stuff, I worry you'll hate me. You could never let me down. And I'll never hate you. They've been through so much. They are, they are not together, are they? I think they'll be just fine. I feel the same. No way. <laughs> Of course I'm sad. How could I not be? But still, is that uh, happy too? What or no? There you go. You better be ready to feed me. Dodo Soba. <laughs> That's adorable. I like that. This is great send-offs for everyone. They must be glamorously attired for their new life. And who will see to that if not the two of us? It's not always easy when a child leaves a nest. There's a certain loneliness to it. Fear of what guess, the yeah. future will bring. Indeed there is! Which is why we adults make obnoxious care packages. How do you... How do you do that? We send them on their way with a box full of love! <laughs> so my wherever shoulder. they may go, they carry that love with them. For dear Yuki, we must craft something even more exquisitely extravagant oh to express the depths of our devotion. How about this? It'll look so lovely on him! <laughs> Okinawa? On summer break? I'm in, let's do it! It's so amazingly, wonderfully not you, Hattori on a southern island with short sleeves and beaches and sundown lotion. <laughs> I'm glad you're entertained, Mayu. I'm sorry. The idea of me in a bathing suit is actually much worse. <laughs> Why is that? Well, it's just, um, my figure being what it it's is. those Debbie cakes. <laughs> so glad we established that. Can we let it go now? And I know I laughed before, but you can't! I like seeing him all smile. Right, then. Let's get going. Okay. We've finished all our errands. Time to go relax now, right? Nope. Time to uh, work. You no fun at all. Akito? Akito looks adorable. Hmm. She almost reminds me of, uh... Always is it Mayu? Selfish. From Steins Gate? Mayuri. Mayuri. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Hey. How's the packing? Are you done? Pretty much. Miss Honda. I want to talk to her in private. Okay. Is that okay? That's fine. In there. Hey. Do a good job. Stupid cat. <laughs> They're teasing out of love now. Stupid rat. <laughs> this house looks so fantastic. Oh, Yuki. Welcome home. 
I won't get to hear you say welcome home anymore then, will I? Ah. <sighs> Even so, I'm happy. <sighs> Thanks, Mom, for everything. Happy for you. And for myself, too. Granted my deepest wish, asking nothing in return. You gave me so much. You were there. Always. Giving me love and shelter. Like a mother. Like a mother. I think this is the first time he told her. I did it. I finally managed to tell you how I feel. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, I guess. You're someone special. Bright and warm. Of course. Selfless and kind. Our lives will be different. We'll have new adventures in new places. I need the adventures of Yuki and Machi. Everyone loves you. Heck yeah, everyone loves her. You realize. I don't think I know anyone who hates her. Maybe except Rin. Thank you. I can see I, Rin hating her. I'm glad we met. So glad. So thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Don't get too don't get too close. Kill's gonna come up from the ceiling. I'll see you again soon. I hope so. I need an episode that's like twenty years in the future. Revisited. Something like that. I don't know why, but still. Just when she was a kid? Mama! Oh. Totoro and Kyo. Hey now, where are your manners? Call them grandma and grandpa. What? Asking you shall receive? If you're looking for your grandma and grandpa, they went out for a walk. Hmm? They left me behind again. Together, hand in hand. Have lots of happy times. And sad times, and everything in between. It's got chills up the wazoo. Oh, and all the changing. Oh my gosh, I can't. Here, these. Uh, this is the girl. All right, hold on. I gotta figure this out. So the guy, the guy is completely different. He's he's not the descendant. The girl is. We got Asuna up in here. So that being said, who are all these people? Obviously, Toru and Kyo. No, okay, wait, scratch that, scratch that. Why am I? What am I thinking? I'm stupid, right? This is uh, the original picture. This is Kyoko. That's uh, the dad. That's Toru. Then boom, we have Toru and Kyo. Cool. We get that. Then they have two kids, which is uh, this dude and the mom we just saw right now. And then this is the family picture that we only see uh, the two kids and Kyo. And then this is, uh, I'm guessing, Kyo and Toru's kid. Or maybe maybe, maybe it's them when they're older. It's so hard. Anyways, it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm not really going to go through this last episode all that much because it, it, was, it was basically what I was thinking, in which... They, they use this episode to kind of cement what happened or what is happening now. Who's going where, who's with who, and all that yada yada stuff. And basically everyone is with their significant other except for uh, Kaguya and Momoji. And even the black haired friend got with Master. At least it, that's what they're, I'm assuming. That's what they're hinting at, which like, okay, I don't know how the whole like age stuff happens in Japan. Maybe, maybe it's not that weird. And honestly, I don't think the age disparity between Master and her is much different between Kuruno and Uo-chan. So I, I don't know. Now, what do I think of Fruits Basket as a whole? I think it is a fantastic anime. And I think one of the one of the biggest things that this anime does is understanding characters, characterization, and how to develop characters over a good time period. And I think this show does a great way in sympathizing with characters that you at first didn't like. And I know this might come out of left field, but I, I like to compare the characterization of Akito to Abby from Last of Us 2. Yes, I know, crazy connection. But I look at how both, both the characters did something in the very beginning to make us initially dislike them. 
And when you do that with a character, it is up to the writer to either get us to hate them more or to somehow sway us to get to like them, right? Because initially when you, when you hate someone, or I'm sorry, not hate, but when you have, when you dislike a character it is a lot harder to get you to like that character. And it all depends on like the, the viewers or the players and, and how quickly they build up their walls or how thick their, their walls are to getting to like, like people or to sympathize with them and yada, yada, yada. So I like to believe that at least from what I've seen, people tend to sympathize with Agito a lot. Obviously they don't agree with the stuff that Agito did, which I of course do not agree with what Agito did, but I can see where she's coming from and I can accept that when she wants to change, she can change. And I think the ability for the writers and the showrunners to get us to understand the change and want the change for Akito, I think that is fantastic on their end. Now I've seen uh, people here and there putting Fruits Basket as like the number one for romance anime. And I don't think it's number one in romance. I think it's definitely the top when it comes to slice of life. But as for romance, there's some anime that I've watched that I was like, yo, this is the gold standard for relationships, love, yada, yada, yada. So I do not think this is number one when it comes to like a romance anime. I do, however, think this is one of the best slice of life. And I do think this is like one of the anime that you could have someone watch for the first time if they're not like well acquainted with the anime. Like to me personally, there's not many shows that I would recommend to someone who's not new or who are not accustomed to anime, but this show is definitely one of them that I would recommend. But anyways, that was my reaction to Fruits Basket Season 3, Episode 13. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, put a comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.